Oh, well, hello, good morning, and it's your old mate, Dave Spencer, back with you once again off on another one of our transport adventures. This two time we're over in Rotherham in South Yorkshire. What are we going to see here? Lots of brand new electric buses. That's what we're going to see, <laughs> I hope. Well, I've already seen a couple. And uh, yeah, it's a pleasure to have you with us. And uh, perhaps we'll chat along the way or catch up at the end. How's that? So uh, I better get on with the job in hand and I'll see you all soon. South Pennines seem to be uh, growing in size and reach. There's a lot of uh, kit behind the fence to my right with a transformer or something, so uh, I'd say that's something uh, kit wise ready for these new electric buses. TM Travel, in case you uh, wondered. Oh, you knew! Ah, oh, well, you see, it's great when you know all these things in detail, you don't get puzzled by anything. 
it was a bit of a pain down the other end of the bus station there's an old chap older than me i think and he sat there outside the little precinct with amplifiers and goodness knows what banging out sort of 1960s numbers but you know it's like me singing well you just wouldn't want to hear it and he's got it on it's called full boom Oh, there was light shining down there somewhere. I thought there was something coming out, but uh, Dave, you're wrong again. Well, it should be, shouldn't it? It's quiet. I got here after the rush hour today, which is quite unusual for me. I try and get here before it, it uh, I get bogged down in traffic. But uh, we, we've had a few uh, long trips out. Sundays, we took the stand out first time for quite a while, and uh, that nearly floored us. So, uh, is anything going to happen here? Should I uh, sort of wipe it and go back and start all over again? The uh, car park's been renovated inside. It's quite uh, posh, sort of, in a <coughs> rather roomy sort of way. The uh, first buses come along in all sorts of deliveries these days. You never know what to expect. Down in Cornwall, I, uh, I got up to 15 different liveries and uh, gave up. Down there they were from Doncaster and uh, Nor Norwich. I think there's a few from a lot of other places as well. And some of you was writing to me about the first buses and a new livery. I haven't seen any new liveries. I've seen the sort of ones that have been going for a bit. And there's the ones that have been going for a bit more than that but uh, after that I, I, I sort of <laughs> wouldn't really know and uh, one of the electrics uh, coming along afterwards very friendly driver so I don't seem to get any hassles here these days that sort of worst excesses of uh, it troubles life have sort of uh, gone. <laughs> uh, Stagecoach is uh, electric. Nice to meet you. Bye-bye. We just met with one of our lovely viewers and uh, he's been watching us from the 1990s. And it's always a pleasure to meet people out there we know. get now often is that I'm, I'm the background to their childhood those that grew up in the 1990s and beyond of course oh, that's a good start to the morning we met so many people who watch our films and uh, that was over in the uh, Dewsbury Bus Museum on Sunday it was a it was a visit that was memorable by lovely people but us getting a puncture and um, we uh, had to call out the AA to uh, get the tyre up uh, so that we could get to a uh, tyre place to get it fixed but time was getting on the AA didn't come to 20 past three although they were there within about an hour from when we run and then um, 
I actually will get all the way to, uh, to the quick fit shop. Anyway, it was uh, about quarter to four in the afternoon when I got to the uh, quick fit in Dewsbury and they were shutting at four o'clock. You know, very kindly they, uh, they had a laugh and uh, one was winding the other one up as to how fast he could go. And uh, they got the whole thing, the puncture repaired, the tyre back on and it was just about two ticks before four o'clock. And they wouldn't take a penny, well I insisted they took something, even if they gave it to charity, because you had to reward their refiners. And uh, as well as uh, being helped by the, uh, <coughs> the quick fit lads, we uh, also got helped by the fellow uh, stall holders and uh, staff from the museum. Lovely people, great day out. Weather was a bit iffy going over and coming back. Not too bad in the morning, a couple of lovely rides on a Leyland PS2 and on uh, something a little bit more new. Although not that, <laughs> not that new. Raylan Panthers. Well, one's going out, or two out there, isn't it? And uh, two are coming in. I don't know if this is what counts as the new livery. As you say, every, every first bus seems to have a different livery. But then it's, uh, you could send the, said the same about stagecoach at some times, couldn't you? They've had their moments. A lot of heritage deliveries coming out at the moment. I suppose it's an antidote to the awful currency. Look at where he goes. Not so bad. Quite colourful. Of course, you have an accident scratch on that. There's a lot to repair. All the writing. Have they got the vinyls for it? Probably. I think it's something to do with the community buses. I don't know if I got that right. Well, we keep on rolling and we don't know what's going to roll up particularly. But uh, usually something does get here. <laughs> that would be a good one. <laughs> Remember when I got all the way uh, over to Middlesbrough during the pandemic and the bus station was shut and I never noticed. So all the buses were going for a layover there. So uh, actually I saw them all but I didn't realise so they weren't actually in service. I just thought that there wasn't any passengers because of the pandemic. Well, those were some times. I probably got it covered more than uh, most people. Uh, we established that uh, with our media presence, we counted as essential workers. On, roll on for those, uh, those new electrics, we're all set for them. I should say nothing about electric vehicles at all. I, I'm sure most people know my uh, feelings about them.
about that then? Always something of a surprise around the next corner. sun trying to break through. I don't think want any sunshine unless it's going to be a nice clear sky. Half and half isn't that easy to cope with. One or the other is the best mix for me. Asians are getting uh, words of uh, recrimination from the uh, driver there. I think uh, he was up keen on them and uh, whatever they were doing. I just slam the uh, automatic on because at the moment the light is very variable. Tommy coming down, you wait or stop there somewhere, well, the sun will come out. If I'm going to be filming with the uh, sun out, I need to be over the other side of the little bit of road here. Might have a, a duo. Flicking everything back onto manual control because uh, I need to be on about 100, speed of about 100 to uh, stop the electronic destination screen that's flickering away. Very annoying thing, flickering screens, you know.
think there might be something coming. Not quite <laughs> what we uh, get when we get here first thing in the morning, is it? <coughs> A little bit thinner on the ground. But uh, no less interesting for all that. Always an eclectic mix of vehicles at <coughs> Rotherham. There's one coming down, I think it actually turned it like a, 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 this thing with these rainbows. In the I can't think what they're called, but you, you probably know what I mean. advert for flower. One inbound sliding around the back there. We're all looking a bit uh, forlorn, aren't they, today? That's just, just the weather. Well, they've had some rain down at the south. Some places have had a month's rain in uh, just a few hours. Some of it had two months' rain, actually. Well, there was a lot of. Uh, Lugs around and about. A lot of these going to Doncaster, so uh, if I go to Doncaster after Rotherham, perhaps I'll catch a few there.
Oh, that's the misery of a driver. Well, I give them all my uh, waves and smiles I can, but it doesn't always work. Anyway, good luck, we've got the sun back with us. <laughs> Sorry, the clouds back with us to keep the sun away. It puzzles me why people walk right down the uh, busway rather than uh, take the paths. And they uh, are reasonably signed as well, a mystery. The uh, bus driver has to get the uh, hit on a phone a bit of a toot. This is the, uh, the one not looking where he's going. You get fined for that in India. Globe. What do you say? You've been around it a few times, Dave. Look that around the globe. Possibly. Trying to uh, still adding new countries each year. I'm going to swing in from my left. I think he's going to be the first one past me. One coming out now. First will beat Stagecoach, perhaps. I think so, he's coming ready or not.
Now this one uh, looked like it was running out of uh, leads and they've uh, torn the uh, vinyls off the leads and uh, it's now a city bus. Now, a city. My mate Phil, who's here with his camera, tells me the uh, operator of this one's Hawthorns. He used to be a school contractor. We've uh, gained a couple of uh, proper routes. But, uh, like me, obviously, catching the electrics, which have now reached the full delivery, I believe. Again, information received.
Richard Slivery bus.
sun <coughs> so it has vanished I can nip back where I was to start with to uh, finish. The weird thing about it is I can see them. So many of them. They're not particularly nice characters at all. Well, hello, it's your old mate Dave Spencer back with you once again, and it's uh, the end of another program for us. Uh, how did you enjoy your visit to Rotherham in Yorkshire? It's September 2024, 
and the years are slipping away very quickly. Anyway, on behalf of myself and Mandy, who's back home today, uh, God bless, and we're going to see you all again soon. Stay well, stay safe, and be good and be kind to other people if you can get round to it. I don't always, but we do try. Anyway, bye for now, everybody. Bye-bye.